The Military School of Health and Veterinary Science is the Italian Army's health training institution. All officers, physicians, vets, psychologists, pharmacists, healthcare specialists, disinfection operators and medics are trained in this school. In order to meet ever-changing needs and requests coming from different areas of operations, our school has totally changed its teaching approach by introducing practice activities and advanced medical simulation. This allows us to train all personnel and keep them in line with operational requirements. Classrooms with state-of-the-art equipment, technological facilities and multimedia smart boards allow a dynamic approach to the different topics. But the real strength of the school lies in the simulation area. Simulation is divided into three levels. The first level takes place in multimedia classrooms with 30 individual workstations. What you see now on screen is the simulation of an emergency case in theatre of operations and the student will have to manage it through the interactive system. We also use other multimedia computer applications focusing on pre-hospital and hospital treatment. All systems give students self-access to a personalised debriefing and self-assessment. The second level of simulation includes medical practice with the use of training mannequins. In this department, there are different types of mannequin. Simple and complex ones, paediatric models like those you see in this room, and then we have also the standard mannequins like these, used to train all personnel on cardiopulmonary resuscitation. In this area, the training focuses on advanced techniques for traumatic and medical events. The second level is completed by exercises simulating extraction of injured personnel from armoured vehicles. Extraction means removal of a trapped driver or crew from a vehicle. It is a very complex manoeuvre requiring specific preparation and training. This is carried out on simulators in the outdoor and indoor training area. The third level of simulation is carried out in the field of neurosensory disorientation. The trainees are grouped in the briefing room and a case is presented on screen. The instructor can build in various stress factors by remote control to make the training progressively more difficult and simulate increasingly adverse conditions. The second room is a changing facility because the training must be done with all the apparel the soldier typically wears on outside missions. Bulletproof vest, personal equipment and weapons, combat jacket, helmet and lights. Before entering the room, participants are tested to evaluate their stress reactions by monitoring vital fundamental parameters. In addition, psychological tests are carried out and repeated after the simulation in order to evaluate the stress response. Participants can then enter the neurosensory disorientation area for their individual or group training. Technology is an indispensable resource, but is not enough in itself. Personnel must be trained and the training must be good in order to achieve the highest possible standards of efficiency. Training of personnel must be extremely thorough. No one would dispute that it's better if the emergencies for which these women and men are trained never actually occur. But the Commandant knows deep down that when their services are needed, they will do everything humanly possible to help and that no one could be better prepared. Thank you.